Hi everybody, Mike Pfeiffer. Uh, today I'm going to do a little review. Uh, I don't do a lot of reviews on uh, structure kits, but uh, I, I just got done building this guy. Let me get out of the way here. It is by a company called Pico, P-I-K-O. Um, I noticed that Walther's does not carry their kits. However, I think I got this one on eBay. These kits are still available. They're made in Germany. And uh, I'd like to show you what I wound up with for my uh, power plant. Okay, everyone, here's the uh, finished model. Um, I'll go over a little bit of it in a little bit. Um, I just wanted to let everybody see how it turned out. Um, I did put a couple extra parts in there, uh, details in there, uh, but for the most part it's how the kit came. I wanted to tell you that the kit comes pre-painted and pre-weathered, uh, which I thought was kind of nice, although I have added some more weathering and some uh, dry brushing to it. But we'll get into that in a little bit. First of all, I'll show you the instructions. Okay, everybody, here's the instructions. Um, you can see that the instructions are pretty basic and pretty common to most things. Uh, it has a parts diagram. What I did find out is that this two times this number, I think this number up here represents the sprue, and this is the actual part number on the sprue. Um, there are parts here that came with it that aren't needed. Um, it's in four or five languages here. Um, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Diagram-wise, you don't read, need to do a lot of reading. You just have to understand the way the parts are laid out. Uh, what I wanted to point out is, let me fold this, what did I want to point out and uh, is that there's all these pieces of metal here that you need to bend um, and it says two of and six of and so forth. It's very monotonous bending all these metal parts and it's very critical that you bend them in the right place and at the right angle. Uh, you can adjust some of that afterward but it becomes quite a pain in the neck uh, to do it later on. Uh, another very monotonous thing is you have all these insulators here that have to be cut out, uh, uh, cut off the sprues. And they have, it's kind of interesting, they are injection molded, but they have a hole down through the center of them. And uh, they did a pretty nice job on making them so you don't have to mess with too many of them. Everything fit together on this thing very nicely. The only problem was trying to stack these insulators right here and get this wire down through them. Uh, what I would recommend for anybody building this kit is to go ahead and stack these as they say. Put a little bit of liquid cement on them and stack them up. They're going to be kind of floppy and want to lean to the side and stuff, but don't worry too much about that as long as you can get this metal down through it later on. Um, I, I would continue to work on it until you got it finished. I would glue the, um, the insulators up and down uh, with a little bit of liquid, like I said, and then just keep working on it while that liquid is still a little bit soft on the plastic and then get your pieces put in here and get your uh, piece of wire down through. But anyway, the rest of it is very straightforward and like I was, I think I said, it's, um, it all comes painted and weathered and molded and weathered in the right colors. Um, so let's take a close look at the model and I'll go through the things I did and did and didn't do to it. Okay, everything you see here on this is uh, pretty much came with the kit, with the exception of there's some manhole covers back in there that you can see. I put them over some holes that were there for uh, apparently a different model or adapting this to multiple models or something of that nature. Um, my When I bought this, I bought it many, many, well, I don't know about many, many, but at least a year or so ago, and I think I lost the chain link fence, so I had to get out some tool, and maybe some of you are familiar with that material from a fabric store that resembles chain link. Anyway, I had to get my own and cut my own chain link, but it normally would come with the kit. So does all the wire, or just about everything you see here. Um... I did one thing that the uh, plans didn't say to do, and I'll see if I can get in here. I would have to assume that this wire on top is a ground wire. Uh, so I brought it down and ran it to ground. They didn't call for that in the instructions, but I thought it added something to the look. I also put these little angular brackets or these angular posts down here to stiffen up my corners because I figured when I put the tool on there, if I pulled on those corners, it would pull the... Uh, 
the post in, so I added those. Other than that, the model itself is pretty stock, and the colors are stock. What I did is after I finished it, I sprayed the whole thing with dull coat, and then I came back in and I did a little bit of uh, black wash on it, which it already had a black wash on it. Then I came back in and went over it with uh, a dry brush of uh, a grayish white. Uh, let me turn it around so you can get a view of the other side. By the way, it comes with two transformers and they're basically separate uh, kits. So you could use one in two different locations and you could obviously have the incoming and outgoing lines uh, uh, shorter than they are at the, on the top there. But this is going to come out of my power plant so uh, and then go to the transmission tower. So um, I wanted them together. So to make it easier to function and with these and get this, get this bracing and stuff in between the two kits, the two kits were only designed just to um, butt together right here and, and glue together. Uh, I had to mount it on a piece of plastic uh, styrene to get them to stay, to stay there. Um, that's really the only modification I did to, uh, to building it with the exception of it comes with a little piece here with this double post when you put the two pieces together. So I put that double post in because I did not want a gate on the back side. This side here will be against the back, well not against the backdrop, but facing the backdrop. Uh, th this will actually be the back and this will actually be the front. So anyway, I'm going to try and get in here and just kind of, uh, well, I guess I have been actually letting you see how it turned out. Uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know anything about transformers. I don't know anything about transmission devices. I do know a little bit about power plants because I did a little studying before I set up my power plant building. But anyway, I was extremely happy with the neatness of uh, the castings on this kit and the fact that the whole thing went together extremely well. Uh, I, I didn't have to finagle any parts on this, on this structure whatsoever. Um, everything was very clean, uh, fit very well, and I was just real happy with the way it went together. A uh, real well planned out layout, uh, structure as well. So anyway, I, I don't remember what they cost. I think I saw one on eBay recently for around $40. Um... I don't know why, uh, what kind of a line of kits they actually make, but uh, I, if, if, I, if they had more stuff I could use, I would be more than happy to buy another Pico kit based on the way this one went together. So anyway, I just thought you'd want to see how it turned out, and uh, the only issue I had, like I said, let me, let me get back around, or let me turn the structure here. Yeah, let me turn it this way. When you stack, oops, sorry, when you stack these insulators right here, these three insulators, you just need to glue them together and then you've already got this piece of wire pre-bent and there's a piece of wire that has a that you bend a loop on the end of it and it goes between two of these. So when you get them glued together, you're going to have to pull the top one off, stick that piece of wire in there and then um, the, with the loop on it and then put this wire down through it. Once you get the whole thing together and stick it on the transformer, uh, you can certainly... Um, get it to stay there and, and glue it a little bit better. But anyway, that was the only uh, hard part uh, of doing the whole kit. So I hope you enjoyed this little review, and uh, that's it for today. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that uh, small review. Uh, I found it a, a, a real nice kit, very time-consuming and a little bit monotonous, like as I said, with uh, doing the all the wire parts and everything. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and as usual, thanks for watching.